EA Sports. It's in the game. NCAA Football 2004. Peaceful Stores, Connecticut. But this upcoming game doesn't look like it's going to be peaceful at all. And it looks like we're going to have snow on the field for today's game between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the Connecticut Huskies. And here come the Huskies. EA Sports welcomes you to another game of NCAA football. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler here with my co-hosts, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The Huskies are going to have to play a great football game if they expect to win this one, Kirk. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think you're exactly right about this. Connecticut is going to have a tough time defending this rushing attack and this running back. It's very important that they shut him down and keep the ball out of his hands if they expect to have a chance in this game. And another thing, Connecticut does not have the talent up front defensively to stop the running game. Kirk, the only way they have a chance to win this game is to force turnovers. Even then, I don't think it's going to be enough for them to win. The fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. And they'll be returning this one. Number 17, pass it at the five. They'll take over at the 21 yard line. High formation here. Set. Cut. 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 Hand off up the middle. And he's taken down at the 22. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Second and nine. Ball on their own 22. Number 44 lines up in the deep pack, high formation, and down he goes. Just a minute, folks, there's a penalty on that play. Personal foul, face mask on the defense. 15 yards. And, and they're just helping him out on this drive. Which is the last thing you want to do. They need to maintain a level of focus on the field and stop getting these silly penalties. It's first and 10, ball on the 41. They line up in an eye. They'll run the option. Fakes it, and he's stopped behind the line. The option couldn't get around to the corner. Very athletic play there by the DB. Let me tell you something, my friend. This kid can run with anybody, and he can lay a lick on the ball carry if they want to come in his direction. Second and 11. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Huskies come out showing three wide. Inside handoff. Spins upfield. And he's taken down. The fullback bangs it in there for a gain of six. It's third down and five to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. 
Connecticut lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. Looking across the middle. His receiver has it. The wideout made a good-looking grab there. You're right, and the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. First and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. The Tar Heel line up with six defensive backs. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. He somehow comes up with it. And they tackle him. That ball was up for grabs, coach. No question. It cost them a big chunk of yards that time. There was definitely some defenders in there. They've got to be able to at least knock it down, if not pick it off. <laughs> It's first and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Number seven comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Steps up, throws it to the outside. And it's caught. And down he goes. Seven-yard play. The Huskies go with the I formation. He'll get it again. And he's taken down at the five. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. Connecticut comes out with an eye formation. They're going to pitch it. And they hit him in the backfield. And he couldn't go anywhere on that run. Nah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defensive front got a good push and knocked that offensive line backwards. The Huskies come out showing three wide. They hand it off again. Touchdown, UConn! And how about that run, guys? Well, oh, I think he's a fine running back. Somebody, you got to design an entire defensive scheme to stop. Just look at that last touchdown run. He knows where the end zone is, and he gets there. And he tacks on the extra point. With just over a minute to go in the first quarter, the score is Connecticut 7, North Carolina nothing. Connecticut to kick this one off. Number 23 and number 29 back to return. Number 23 takes it at the 8. Kickoff return 20 yards. Number 23 on the return. First and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Huskies bring in their dime package. He drops back. He's under pressure. It's dropped. He just let that one slip out of his hand. Oh, he can't take his eyes off the ball. It looks like that's what happened. It's second down and 10 to go. 
Ball on the 27. They come out with three wide receivers. Here's an option right side. And they got him for a loss. And they stop him on the option. Well, that's a nice job here by the defender of getting into the backfield and breaking that play up. Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 26 yard line. High formation here. Back to pass. He's in trouble. Oh boy, almost intercepted. So they go three and out after that incompletion. to return it he gets it off number 83 fields at the 31 now we see the offense come out of the field and you know who's trembling right now that defensive secondary secondary should be trembling after all the yards that they gave up that last time they'll start this drive at the 43 yard line Connecticut sets up in the eye. And down he goes. About five yards there on the fullback carry. Second and five coming up here. Ball right around midfield. The Husky go with the eye formation. And he's going to lose yards on this one. This is a heads-up play by the linebackers. He's playing run and had his eyes on the guy carrying the football from the get-go. Good defensive play. Third down and seven. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Tar Heel line up with six defensive backs. He can scoot. Knocked out of bounds. How about that conversion on third down? You've got to give credit to the offensive line. Good push by the guys up front. They're really working hard down in the trenches. Let me tell you, the biggest compliment you can give a coach is that his team is playing hard. And you're right. These guys are playing real hard. I mean real hard right now. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Connecticut lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. Throws to the middle. Got it to his receiver. And he's all the way down to the 12. How about that play? Well, this is a great play. And this is a play that we saw them practice all week. Yeah, this is an area where the coach had felt they might have some success. When this defense blitzes, like they do here, that leaves them in some one-on-one -on -one situations. And they took advantage of it right here. First and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. High formation here. Hand off up the middle. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Anytime a defense has their safeties coming up making plays behind the line of scrimmage, that tells the offense they've got to start throwing the ball downfield to keep them honest. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 12. Connecticut lines up in a double tight set. On the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down at the five. About seven yards on that carry. They're crowding the line. Little handoff. 
Touchdown, UConn! And he manages to find the end zone for the second time this half. Yep, he's really finding his way into the end zone. He's off to a great start. Here's another look at that fantastic run. the PAT over three minutes remain in the second quarter and the score is Connecticut 14 North Carolina nothing Looks ready to kick this one off. He kicks it. Number 23 takes it to 14. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. And maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. They'll get the ball here at the 23-yard line. North Carolina lines up in a bunch formation. Drops back to pass. And he's stopped behind the line. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel, and he had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. Second and 11. Ball on their own 22. The Tar Heel line up in an eye formation. Setting up the play action, and it falls incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. North Carolina comes out with an eye formation. He drops back. He steps up, throws this one out to the right. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals punt. Nice job, guys. <laughs> Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number 33 gets it off. Number 83 fields it at the 41. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. They'll set up shot at the 48. Number 44 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Throw on first down. Across the middle. Off his hands, incomplete. Number 87, the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball right around midfield. They come out with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He gets rid of it. Complete. And they got him for a loss. Taken back a yard. One yard loss on the play. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball right around midfield. Connecticut goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Wants to throw outside. And it's going the other way. He has some room. 
to the 20, to the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. And that is not what they had in mind. Coach. It was simply a bad play. Turnovers are bad on their own, but when you add to the fact that it results in points for the opposition, uh-oh, that will kill you every time. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Connecticut 14, North Carolina 7. Carolina to kick. Kicks it off. Number two. Fields it at the nine. I'm sure the coach is talking to his team about not turning the ball over again in this possession. They'll take over at the 25. High formation here. First and 10. They'll throw on first down. He steps up. Going deep on the left side. And it's incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25. The Huskies line up with three wide. He drops back. Throws this one out to the left. Couldn't haul it in. The wideout unable to catch that pass. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 25. North Carolina brings in the nickel here. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. And it's caught. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. The Tar Heels are going to take a timeout. And they've got two remaining. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Number six, punts it, and it's a good one. Number five, takes it to 25. And they take over after a nice punt return. They'll go to work at the 41-yard line. The Tar Heel line up in an I formation. They'll throw on first down. Steps up. He's going to air it long. And it falls incomplete. And the wideout had trouble holding on there. And I'll tell you what, he was holding on for dear life there. I don't think he was concerned about the ball too much on that play. Nah. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 41. The Tar Heel set up in the gun. Back to pass. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. And he threw that one up for grabs. This is one of the things that drives a coach crazy. You don't want to do anything stupid. Make mental mistakes that may cost you the ball game. It's third down and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. 
The Husky bring in the nickel package. Drops back to pass. He steps up, fires deep down the left side, and they couldn't hook up on that one. Not on target at all this drive, and that'll bring up fourth down. Back deep to return. Number 33 gets it off. Number 83 takes it to 20. The ball came free. They'll get the ball here at the 32-yard line. North Carolina brings in their nickel package. They'll throw on first down. Steps up in the pocket. He unloads it. And it's incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. He drops back. Got it. And he's taken down. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. He went down kind of hard on his knee there, guys. Hopefully it won't be that bad. one coming up on this play ball on the 41 yard line Connecticut comes to the line with three wide third and short and they'll throw for it steps up here they come and he can't get away from the pressure North Carolina takes a timeout that was their second timeout And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. Number six gets it off. Number five makes it to 28. A good return. They'll start this drive at the 42-yard line. High formation here. They'll throw on first down. He steps up. He's going right. And that one's fallen incomplete. Wow, that pass had some velocity, Kirk. Well, I think here the quarterback panicked a little bit and rifled it as hard as he could. Second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Connecticut lines up with five defensive backs. And he's got it. Going the other way now. And that turnover's got to hurt. Yeah, they wanted to rack up some points before they have to help around. Sorry, it didn't work. Let's look at that one again. Oh, this is a textbook interception. Watch how he jumps to catch the ball at his highest point. That's exactly how they teach you to do it. They'll set up shop at the 49. The Huskies come out in the shotgun. Back to pass. Under heavy pressure. And he drops it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 49. The Huskies line up in an I formation. Set. Put hot. Put, put. 
Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And it falls incomplete. And he overthrew that one badly. Whoa! The receiver's fast, but he's not that fast. Third and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Connecticut comes out with an eye formation. He drops back. He gives a pump fake. He's gobbled up in the backfield. North Carolina calls a timeout, and now they got no timeouts left. The return man. He punts it. Number five takes it at the 16. <laughs> Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Connecticut 14, North Carolina 7. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number 29 takes it at the 8. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. take over at the 28 North Carolina in a five wide set back to pass steps up he's gonna go for the home run incomplete pass he just couldn't get to that one. well he looked to be a little excited back there in the pocket may have rushed things a little bit needs to be a little bit more patient step up make the throw Second and ten. Ball on the 28. North Carolina goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He zips it out. And a nice catch by the wideout that time. Third and two coming up here. Ball on their own 36. North Carolina will line up in a jumbo set here. Setting up the play action, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. There was just not enough people to block. And when there ain't enough, you're going to get nailed. They send out the punting unit. Number 33 gets it off. Number 83 fields at the 31. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Yeah, but his blockers have to do a better job of helping him out. They didn't hold the coverage team at bay. They just let him right through. They'll get the ball here at the 34-yard line. Connecticut comes out with an eye formation. Put hot! Put hot! Put hot! Put hot! Play action. He's going left. Got him with the spin at the point. Inside the 30. A little trickery by the quarterback paid off in a big way. I think they caught the safeties looking in the back of the running back, and the receivers ran right by them. First and ten. Ball on the 26. They come out with three wide receivers. 
on the ground with the tailback. And down he goes. A two-yard run by the halfback. Gain of two on the play. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Huskies come out in the ace formation. Again with the run. Bubbles the ball. Recovered by the offense. They narrowly escaped there. It was close, but he recovers the fumble for his team and avoids the turnover. It's third down and six to go. Ball of the 22. The Huskies come out in the shotgun. He's hit and got away. And he's taken down. And a big run on third down. Good job there by the offensive line, allowing the runner to get some good yardage. Lee, as you know, anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. Guys, let's take another look at that play. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Tar Heel line up in a nickel back. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Complete. And he's going to lose yards on this one. And they back up three yards on that play. It's second down now and 13 to go. And this is the sixth play of the drive. The Huskies line up in an I formation. Here's the give. And down he goes. The halfback runs for four yards. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Connecticut sets up in the eye. Back to pass. Steps up, throws this one out to the right, and he can't make the catch. Four, in to attempt the short field goal. It's up. And it's through the uprights. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Here's the kick. Number 29 takes it at the 12. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. start this drive at the 28. Number 20, the lone back. Drops back to pass. Aaron and out long. And it's caught. And he's taken down. The defense came with a blitz that time. Yeah, but when you blitz a quarterback that is smart as this guy, you've got to blitz him late. And you've got to change your defense late. Right, Kirk? That's exactly right. Let's see if they begin to pick up what we're seeing here. Just a little bit of a cat and mouse game out there. Number 20 lines up as a single back. Inside give. He's into the open field. 
And he's taken down. Nice gain for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counter play. The blocking was great up front. The tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. Looks like they're going to try to power this one in. He drops back. Here comes the pressure. Goes to the end zone. And he came down with it. What a catch. How about the tight end? This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. And he tacks on the extra point. Just a few seconds remaining now in the third quarter. And our score, Connecticut 17, North Carolina 14. one off number two and number 17 set to return number two has it at the five the offense ready to go again and their last drive ended with three points they'll go to work at the 22 Two tight ends set. Set. Hot. Hot, hot. Hot. Tries to juke, and down he goes at the 23. Gain of a yard by the fullback. It's second down and nine to go. Ball in the 23. Number 44 is the single setback. Back to pass. He steps up over the middle. There was not a soul open there. He threw into double coverage because it was an obvious passing down, and the defense knew the pass was coming. We're only separated by a field goal as the third quarter comes to a close. It's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 23-yard line. The Huskies set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. He's looking across the middle. That brings up a punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number six gets it off. Number five fields it at the 40. At the 40. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown, North Carolina. He made it look easy there, guys. Yeah, we saw the same things all week in practice, Brad. He makes it look so easy out there. No question, Coach. Whenever he touches the football, you just know something special is going to happen.
and he hits the PAT. So with under five minutes to go here in the fourth, the score, North Carolina 21, Connecticut 17. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Number 17, back to the Number 17 takes it at the 8. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow-mo replay to recap it. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 28. First and 10. Connecticut comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They'll throw on first down, steps up in the pocket, throws it to the outside, and it's caught, and he's taken down. That was a good completion there. Yeah, I really liked the good, clean routes they ran on that play. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 33. The Huskies come out showing three wide. He drops back. Steps up. Across the middle. Got it. And down he goes. I'd like to say one thing. The reason they were able to get something out of this play is the fact that the quarterback had time to get rid of the football. Good job up front by the offensive line. And don't forget the nice play by the running back as well. First and ten. Ball on their own 45. Connecticut comes out of the shotgun. Finds his receiver, and he's taken down. A decent gain on the pass. Yo, Kirk, good job by the quarterback here reading this play. Yeah, the defense came with a blitz, and you're right. Great job by this young quarterback of recognizing the coverage and spotting the open man. First it's first and ten. Ball on the 42. North Carolina comes out defensively with six defensive backs. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. Complete. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Second and three coming up. This is the fifth play of this drive. Connecticut comes out with an eye formation. And they got him for a loss. Kirk, they really had nothing going on that run. I'll tell you what, Brad, it's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play. It's third down and six to go. And this is the sixth play of the drive. The Huskies line up with three wide. And down he goes. They don't pick up the first on that play. Brad, that defense is saying, not so fast, my friend. You're not going to run that ball that easy. They don't have the luxury of kicking the ball here. He'll dump this one off, and it's caught, and he's taken down at the 30-yard line. <laughs> they get the first down, guys. Is that crazy or what? Well, you said it. This is actually a nice play. The fact that they convert on fourth down makes it even more special. First and 10, ball on the 30. The Huskies line up in an eye formation. They'll go with the run once again, and down he goes. Couldn't get anything out of that. So it's second and ten, and this is the ninth play of the current drive. 
The Husky go with the eye formation. He steps up. Pressure coming. Got his running back. A few yards that time on the pass. This is just a little pass to the halfback. Nothing spectacular, but it's plays like these that keep the defense off balance and drives alive. First and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. The Huskies come out in the ace formation. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. Across the middle, complete. And he's taken down at the 11-yard line. A pickup of about three. Congratulations to our Old Spice players of the game. Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. The Huskies line up in an eye formation. And down he goes. They get three yards on the play. Connecticut takes a timeout, and they've got two remaining. Connecticut comes out in the shotgun. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Number 80, the intended receiver on the play. Got to go for it here. Back to pass. Down the middle. And he dropped it. They went for it, but they were denied. Well, that was a situation where they had to go for it. I agree. They can't afford to let the other team hold on to the ball. The time is ticking away. They'll set up shop at the 8. North Carolina comes out with an eye formation. And off to the fullback. And he's taken down. Connecticut calls a timeout. That was their second timeout. It's first and 10. Ball on the 19. No need to risk a fumble. A simple kneel down will do here. There's the kneel down by the quarterback. The Huskies call for a timeout, and now they got no timeouts left. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 17. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he takes a knee. Ball on the 15. They come out with four linebackers. Up the middle with a fullback. And down he goes. Well, they try to keep it on the ground for the first down. You know, Brad, here the defense just steps up and makes a play, stopping them and bringing up fourth down. And that's pretty much going to do it. Kirk, any final thoughts here? Oh, this was a great football game, and these kids will remember this game for a long time. Connecticut played a great game out there, but I think they were a little bit outmanned. They're a good team, though. They'll bounce back from this. Folks, thanks for tuning into our game. Our final score, North Carolina 21, Connecticut 17. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit signing off. So long, everybody.